The Witcher 3 uh, developers um, have been accused of graphical downgrades. Um, so basically this week, um, and was it the last week, was it the week previous as well, prior to this as well? Uh, but basically uh, Witcher 3, uh, so uh, CD Project, uh, Project uh, Red um, uh, released some uh, footage and some st um, screenshots and bits and pieces basically from The Witcher 3. And The Witcher 3 has also come out. Yeah, they also released a video game. Yeah, well, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is that they. But what I'm trying to say is that that all this, we we, we mentioned this before, but this kerfuffle was being yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, happened before this was, the release. Yeah, this yeah. this was a scene from the things, but when yeah. it was released, it was more obvious because people could actually see for themselves. Yeah. Um. So, but I, I mean, I haven't played any of the Witcher things or kept up with this news. So, Chris, because you're the you're the Witcher three. You're the okay. Witcher so, fan. Quick rundown on this old mess then. So uh, yeah, The Witcher 3 was released recently. And up until release, a lot of... Uh, the problem with this is to what extent you want to side with the people who don't think there should be any compromise on this sort of thing. And the developers who want to explain their bit. Because... Downgrades have been a problem before with some games. One of the most recent examples was people being very upset about the downgrade to Dark Souls 2, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, which was a very, very, very clear downgrade in every way. And it was a shame because it really did look pretty good um, in those early builds with the lighting and everything that they stripped back. And even but they are bringing that back. Recording. But they are bringing that back with uh, with them, um, the last sinner or whatever it's called. Well, with, with Bloodborne, technically, because the last sin brought back some of the effects that they cut out, but it was still just applying some of the older effects to the same engine. Sure. It was still still stripped down. Yeah. On the whole, but it's uh, it's a step. It's a step in the right direction again. Um. So yeah, the basic issue. Mm -hmm. is that The Witcher 3, when it was revealed, when they've shown shots and footage of it, looked good. Really, really good. They wanted it to be one of the best-looking games, period, like The Witcher 2 was at the time when it came out. A lot of people would have been able to argue for it being generally the best-looking game at the time, to mm -hmm. it, like at all. Um, so the problem here is that people are acting very betrays, by the fact that they were apparently promised this amazing looking game and now that it's been released it only looks really really good yeah um to the extent that this whole argument over whether or not the downgrade has happened or not or whether it looks bad or not is sort of dominating discussion of the game in a lot of places even over actually talking about the game itself if the gameplay is any good if the story is any good and basically anything else that's more interesting to talk about than graphics not looking as good as you thought uh, because it's not really a secret in game development they weren't very they were a little bit evasive about it at first but they've recently said yes it is downgraded and we'll explain why and because it has to be yeah, in a nutshell consoles. yeah my pc has a graphics card that was a few years old when i put it in and that was a few years ago so it is not a new, you know, state of the line, state of the art, top of the line mm. uh, graphics card by any stretch of the imagination. My computer is still a few tiers above a PS4 in terms of overall power. Um, so what CD Projekt had to do is they said in order to have the budget that they would need to make a game on the level of The Witcher 3 without sacrificing their scale or ambition on it, because it is a much larger game than the last two in the series. Um, they need to release it on consoles, and in order to release it on consoles, they need to make sure that it can run on those consoles. Yeah. They would not have had and, enough money if they didn't release yeah. on consoles, too. And the, the piece, and even with the downgrade, the minimum specs for PC are higher than my computer, which is better than the PS4. So they had to they were in a position, you know, they obviously would have wanted to just make it PC release and make it as good looking as possible. There's also the fact that if they want to do a major release and actually make money, 
it's probably a really bad business decision to make an incredibly hard to run game on one platform which doesn't sell as much as the other platforms I mean, yeah that would just seem like common relevant. sense to be honest well i mean no the only reason so just just uh, just to let you know the reason why i put this picture up on our stream is just purely because it's 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 what like everyone it's the easiest way to relate yeah, it is that is that basically very good like <laughs> it's like it looks amazing in the advertisements and whatever, but when you get the burger, sure, it may look not so good, but it tastes yeah, just as amazing. It doesn't look crap in comparison. It, That's the no, thing. it doesn't it's look. Like, yeah, it's like they advertise the burger, and you got a burger that looks the same but without photoshopping on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the nice. thing is, is that in the end, it tastes really, really good. It makes you really satisfied, and you want to buy another one afterwards. So, like, you know what? It's it, it, I, I get that people are really feeling betrayed about this. Um, I know, I understand this graphics, um, especially when it, with a game that has made its name, uh, somewhat of a name, through the fact that it always has looked really, really good. So I get that argument, it's and still, I do understand. It's the but the thing is, yeah, exactly. It still looks insane and for this, like, uh, yeah, like you look at the look at the the hair detail and everything. I understand, like, people are still feeling like it should have been better. But like, okay, I understand they might have cut a corner there or whatever, maybe, maybe. But they've they've done an incredible job, guys. And like, and the thing is, they they. They've only just they've only just re released this. You ought to remember, like this happens with so many games. There may be patches down the line. There may be um, uh, other content DLC, and they may even be getting a re-release in like five, three years time or something with all the extra things added on. I mean, like let's just take the take the game, review the game for how it is. I understand people are feeling betrayed, but it is a really really good game. I'm sure, and um, I'm, I'm sure it, it tastes far it's far good. better than it than than it, than it looks. Way, yeah. Yeah. A Witcher burger. A Witcher burger. Because, yeah. They are doing a patch, aren't they? Or did they already? Yeah, they, they or... are doing a patch so that it, on the PC version at least you can change the any files or the settings that would have been in there to really bump it up. Yeah. So Is they it, are yeah. actually actively working to fix it. They've also released an enhanced yeah. edition of The Witcher for every single entry in the series so far. Yeah. And there's no reason they wouldn't do it for this I one. I mean, what they've done is really way different than like what Watch Dogs did. On exactly. PC. Like that was just awful. That, that's like, the thing is, they literally people... had dumbed it down to boost P or boost console sales because PC would just be like the definitive version. Otherwise, it's completely different. Except Watch Dogs promised to you know be a lot more in involved than it actually was yeah. in the end, which is why it disappointed the a lot. It was also different. Yeah, The Witcher just promised it would look really good, like look amazing, and said it just looks really good. But people, according to reviews, it's a really good game. Mm -hmm. It's really open. It's really well designed. According to all but one review. Yeah, but there's always going to be a few. Um, <laughs> and yeah, the, the thing is as well is that it kind of surprised me how it, how angry people got about this because yeah. this happens to almost every single major release of any video game ever. In the last Ever. Yeah. Ever. It's just just ever. <laughs> I mean... It's like the, the pre release screenshots, the screen, you know, whatever. Even before trailers, 3D, even when they're 2D what? games, people were complaining so about it. It's running on PC hardware half the time. They've literally found out that they were running game like Xbox One games, PS4 games on PC hardware to show them off. Like. It's. It's like. Do you know what? Do you know what? What would really, really bugs me is when you is uh, it doesn't happen the other way round. Like you get games like okay, and I, I, I again, I'm probably gonna get hated on. You know what? I probably I should just wear a t-shirt saying please hate me. But basically, like um, Crisis, it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, back when it first came out, I mean, original Crisis looked absolutely incredible, and it still does. Yeah. But the Hasn't gameplay been, was awful, much. and I don't care however much it, it looks really, really good or whatever, but the story was shite. The game the was the shite. The, you know, I don't care about how many guns and bazookas and how cool it looks. It, in the end, I couldn't play it because it was just so boring. 
And like, and we got the opposite going on here, where well, not even the opposite. We have it here. We have a game which looks incredible, and like the gameplay is most likely really, really well done. The story, as everyone knows, is really, really, really good, and you're all and people are like properly slating on it, and it's like, what is wrong with you guys? Like, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Like, obviously, you always need complaints because otherwise things don't progress and everything. You obviously always need that, and I'm never gonna take that away. But it, it's just. I don't know. I, I think some people just need to, you know, they need to sort of step and back a bit and actually see things for how they are, you know. And they, and they, and they wanted the, the to general scope, it, but they couldn't. They explained why it's the reality of the industry. We're stuck with this yeah. hardware for the next seven years again. Or and and just sorry, just to credit something, um, the uh, the picture that I got was from the IGN post, which I'm obviously going to have it down in the, in the description. And the picture that I had for the Burger King thing was posted by Root Bearing uh, Root Bearing a Barrel. Beer in a barrel, sorry. Root beer in a barrel. Oh my god, I can't beer actually speak. Root beer in a barrel. So, just to say, because obviously that wasn't our original post, so, yeah. Um, I don't want to so, yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Because it's also worth mentioning it's an open world game as well. Yeah. And obviously The Witcher 3 had a huge budget, but with any open world game, there's going to be a part of the game where you can zoom the camera right into a wall and go, oh look, this doesn't look perfect. Like, GTA V made all the money in the universe and probably had a gigantic budget that was even bigger than The Witcher 3. And they're a bit sort of yeah. ropey. This is, this is, the, yeah, this is a good-looking game on the whole, but yeah. it's like, it's Let, not, you know, a, it's not a completely designed world in every facet. And yeah. No one has yeah. Budget to do that yet. Yeah, and I, just talking. About, I think this should. This will be a nice at- uh, ending yeah. to this to this Speaking topic. Of hardware limitations. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're we're, 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 we're we'll go on to that in a second. But just us for this this last little segment, just the last little bit. Um, I think this quote perfectly sums it up, and it's exactly what you're talking about the budget and stuff. First of all, CD Projekt is uh, Red is not a very big. Um, they're not a very big company. They don't have a lot of money. Relatively and, speaking. No. Yeah, relatively speaking. And they just made this quote. Developing, uh, if they were only developing, so developing only for PC, yes, probably we could get get more in terms of graphics as um, there would be nothing else for them to develop. Um, they would be, uh, be so focused, um, like if we could only develop for Xbox One or PS4, but then we cannot afford such a game. And what basically what they're just trying to say is is that sure if we were just developing for PC of course we could make the graphics that we promised or not promised but we 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 suggested that we would be able to get to, um, but now they're producing for two other consoles, they don't have the money to actually be able to spend that and they're also already making a game that is like like hundred times better looking than like you know games that are brought out by studios like Arcane Studios who are who have you know twice the budget. Um, like so, I don't know how they stack up in terms of. I'm not sure what kind of budget Dishonored had, or even from software. That was also a last gen. Dishonored looked pretty good. I, the problem was the texture compression wasn't very good, which is sure kind of a different problem. But in, but it, but what I'm saying is either either way, it just what I'm saying is that it, there's no way that they would have been able to produce something for that price. And for the money that they had, so like anyway, that's that. That's what they. That's their their main comment, which was they couldn't afford to make a game which that looked that, look that good. And I think for what they've done, they've managed to achieve for the sort of budget they managed to do, managing to produce a triple A game of that caliber. They've done really really well. So oh, for sure. yeah. Um, talking about like, <laughs> what was your what was Speaking your segue? Of hardware limitations. Sony's project Morpheus.